Hello and welcome to lesson one of our new scheme of work which is titled Amazing Adventures. Um, today's learning objective for lesson one is called What is Meant by Adventure Writing? Now through this scheme of work we're going to be analysing some adventure fiction extracts, building up our reading analysis, um, practicing our Peter paragraphs and then also having the opportunity to practice our creative writing skills. Now, uploaded onto class charts is a workbook to accompany this scheme of work. So you can print off page by page if you have a printer. You can just have a look at it on a device, but you don't need it. It's also absolutely fine if you just use a paper and a pen, but make sure you keep all of your notes together. Okay, so to accompany this scheme of work, there's also the opportunity for you to use a workbook that I have um, uploaded to class charts. Now, if you do have access to a printer and you want to print that off, maybe page by page, week by week, that's absolutely fine. You do not need to do that though, that's only an option. Just having a piece of paper, a pen or a notebook is just fine, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure you keep all of your notes together. Now, also as well, there's an opportunity for a Q&A session after this lesson has been released. So it might be that you've not actually participated in the full lesson yet, or it might be that you've just looked through the video and you just wanna ask a few questions to a teacher about how to complete the work for that lesson. Um, so there is the opportunity to have that and that will follow the lesson today. As we go through the slides and as we go through the lesson, you are going to need to understand some key vocabulary. So this is a perfect opportunity to begin to practice your note-taking skills. And we're going to think about what these specific words mean to this topic. So if you make sure you have a paper and a pen, um, what I don't want you to do is copy out what is written on my slide word for word. It's really good if you can paraphrase and make your own notes so you can shorten down my explanations and definitions. So the key vocabulary today, we've got three terms. The first one is adventure, okay, an exciting experience that is typically bold and sometimes dangerous. Adventures may be activities with some potential for physical danger, such as traveling, exploring, skydiving, mountain climbing, scuba diving, etc. If you've got some of your own kind of exciting physical activities that are quite adventurous, you could add that in. If you need to pause to make your notes now, feel free to do that. Then we have adventure fiction. That's any writing, for example, short stories or novels, based on imaginary events or people. Typically, characters will embark on a quest, journey or a mission. So the main point there is adventure fiction, and fiction is, of course, a story based on imaginary events and then that leads us into adventure non-fiction which is any writing which could include autobiographies travel writing based on facts real events and real people's adventures for example expeditions or missions so please make sure you've made a note of those three key terms and you have your own shortened definitions or your own definitions Okay, so your starter activity today, um, what you could do is draw a table with books down one side, films and TV down the other. Just take a couple of minutes. Can you think of any books, films or TV shows that are based on an adventure? So I've given you um, four examples here. So for books, I have Lord of the Flies, GCSE text. Then I have Treasure Island. And then films and TV, Jumanji or The Avengers. Can you think of any more? Add them to your table. I'd pause this now and only give yourself about two minutes. Okay, this part is where we start to take some notes. So we're going to start thinking about key features of the adventure writing. So adventure writing can take the form of fiction, so stories about imaginary places or people, or non-fiction, writing based on real events and people. Adventure writing often includes something exciting, um, extraordinary, often a quest or a mission, escaping danger or experiencing something out of the ordinary. Now, I'd like you to watch this short video called Adventure Novel Genre Introduction and make some notes. So specifically make notes about what are the 
key features of adventure writing, what type of characters are typically included in an adventure story, can you think of any settings where adventure stories might be set, and do you recognise any of the adventure stories in the video? So now we're on to our main task, task one. Um, I'd like you to think of an adventure novel or film that you know. Which key features and characteristics of adventure writing do they show? If you don't know any adventure novels or films, try researching them all online. Or look at the pictures below to give you a bit of inspiration. You can see there's Harry Potter there, The Famous Five, Lord of the Flies, as I've previously mentioned, and Treasure Island. And then Huckleberry Finn. So maybe you could pick one of them, put it into your search engine and find out the key features. Just note them down. I'd give yourself about three or four minutes for this task. Okay, so back to taking some notes because we need to start figuring out the characteristics of adventure fiction. So as I go through all of these, I'd like you to add these to your notes. Now feel free at any time to pause the video. Remember that your note taking should be in your own words. So it could be that you want to paraphrase some of my words. It could be that you want to shorten my descriptions down. Okay, so we'll look at the overview. Adventure stories feature physical action and courageous heroes who save others from danger or impending doom. The adventure genre of fiction is fast paced and usually centres on a protagonist, which is the main character, in a dangerous or risky situation. Adventure fiction overlaps other genres such as romance, thrillers and science fiction. So if you see, um, in bold is the term protagonist. And I'd like you to add that to your key vocabulary. Protagonist means the main character in a story. We then move on to action and excitement. 
Adventure novels typically have fast-paced, action-packed plot lines. Stories about epic journeys or epic tales, often involving a mixture of adventure and fantasy, culminate with a thrilling climax or a series of climatic events. Examples include The Odyssey by Homer and Lord of the Rings by J.R.R. Tolkien. The setting of an adventure story often takes place in other worlds, places not yet discovered, or treacherous terrains, so for example, rainforests or a place like Antarctica. Okay, so we also then have courageous protagonists. Adventure genre protagonists, remembering that that's a key term and that means the main character, are usually brave and logical. Examples include Katniss Everdeen in the Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins and Beatrice Pryor in Divergent series by Veronica Roth. Heroes in adventure stories often face life or death scenarios that test their willingness to sacrifice their own lives for the sake of the greater good. Adventure stories contain a sense of urgency, so protagonists must accomplish their goals or missions in a short period of time. We then have evil adversaries, and we call them the antagonists. So that's another key term there for your vocabulary. Antagonist is the main character's enemy or rival. In adventure novels, these tend to be extremely evil, so readers desperately want the hero or heroine to defeat them. Villains in superhero adventure stories show little regard for human life and have self-serving interests, such as unquenchable desire for power, fame or wealth. Even though heroes in adventure fiction have character flaws and often evolve during the story, the genre contains clearly defined good and bad characters. Okay, so for task two... We're now going to look at creating an adventure fact file which outlines how and why your chosen book or film is a good example of this genre. So in your fact file I would like you to include a plot summary, the main characters, key features and characteristics of the adventure genre, reviews from readers and commentaries from experts and your own personal opinion. So just to show you what I'd like I'm just going to give you an example on the next slide of my own fact file. Okay, so my example today, I have chosen the text Lord of the Flies. Um, I've chosen this because I know it really well. We teach it at GCSE. So Lord of the Flies fact file. Plot summary, Lord of the Flies tells the story of a group of young boys who find themselves alone on a deserted island. They develop rules and a system of organisation, but without any adults to serve as a civilising impulse, the children eventually become violent and brutal. Main characters include Piggy, Simon, Ralph, Sam and Eric and the Little Uns. Key features of adventure genre, survival on an unknown island, no adults, physical action, danger, courageous characters and evil adversaries. Um, a review that I picked out from the Guardian newspaper says, if you like your books to have a gripping and believable characters with a plot set second to none, then Lord of the Flies is for you. And my personal opinion is that Lord of the Flies is as action-packed as an adventure novel gets. From the moment you meet the boys on the island, you are fascinated by how they will survive and who will ultimately lead them to either safety or to their peril. Now, if you're struggling to think of one that you like or you know, do a little bit of research. You could always go back to my suggested pictures in task one, but that is what I'm looking for. So this lesson, you should have taken your notes. Make sure you keep them. You've got your key vocabulary, okay? And then you've also got your fact file. Remember that you can pause this, return to this at any point. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Please remember there is also the Amazing Adventures workbook which has been added to class charts, but it doesn't matter if you can't print or download that. Paper to take notes is also fine. Um, there is a Q&A session today following this lesson with a teacher from the English department. Um, if you haven't had a chance to complete the lesson and there's a bit you don't understand, that's a really good opportunity to ask those questions then.